Today's mariners are still in awe of the Vikings' sailing capabilities, navigating across the deepest seas to new far-off lands with their long, sleek, and narrow vessels, the Longships, Vikings' very own groundbreaking invention resulting from years of experiments and hard teamwork. Fast forward millennia to the sequel of Longships, the Norwegians are now placing great emphasis on testing a game-changing technology and taking it to European lands and seas. This time, it shall help Norway address the biggest challenge of modern times, climate change. As Norway's current objective is to reduce at least 50% of its GHG emissions by 2030, a longship may come in handy to accomplish this target. As part of this strategy, the Norwegians launched in 2020 an ambitious project to capture and store CO2 in energy-intensive industries, naming it longships after their forefathers' notorious vessels. The feasibility of the plan has been tested by a pilot project carried out at a waste-to-energy plant which is treating Oslo's non-recyclable waste. There, the carbon capture efficiency has proven to have a 90-plus percent capture rate, meaning that the waste-to-energy plant will be able to capture 400,000 tons of CO2 emissions every year, thus preventing its release into the atmosphere. Oslo has set itself an ambitious climate roadmap, reducing 95% of emissions by 2030 compared to 1990 levels. Waste management is on the list of activities Oslo is prioritizing to successfully attain its GHG emissions reduction plan. The CCS project shows how waste to energy can be part of this strategy by treating non-recyclable waste with a view of carbon neutrality. Scaling these technologies to the entire European waste sector would help the EU pursue its climate neutral ambitions too.